Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I know you're going to love it. I have hundreds of videos on different vehicles of makes and models, so check it out. So anyways, I am here at East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they're allowing me to show you this 2015 Honda CRZ EX. Now this is a very cool looking car, and this is a high, considered a hybrid. It does have the ability to use electric and gas, um, so it gives you really, really good gas mileage even in the city. So let's go ahead and start checking it out. I mean, just overall looking at it, it is stunning looking. You look at it, the first time I saw one, I was like, man, what is that? I had to literally walk around the car a couple of times to check it out. But anyways, uh, it does have the 16 inch alloy wheels here, here, and it has a combination of black paint and um, the alloy popping out there in the corners, which gives it a pretty sporty look. It does have uh, four wheel disc brakes. So all the, all the wheels have the disc brakes, which is awesome. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see from this angle. I have to walk around here to show you this car because it has a real kind of a high back now this is a two-seater has no back seat so that's cool that eliminates people asking for rides all the time if you already have two people in there you can't fit any more anybody else you can see it has the LED day daytime running lights here in the front so we have the HID powered projector headlights and then the halogen reflector headlights there so you have some really good lighting at nighttime let's take a look at it from this angle it's not a it's not a big car it's a fairly small car but it has a decent wheelbase you can see that those back wheels are fairly far back and so it has a pretty good ride to it so let's take a look on this side inside is just amazing so looking at the door uh, it does have a microfiber cloth like a burgundy or red color there around the, the, your armrest and a little pocket there you have like a hematite metallic uh, shiny handle there bottle holder and you have some storage space under there big speaker manual adjustments on the seats now the cloth seats have the red stitching and they are bolstered just like a sports car it has this textured cloth there in the center plenty of leg room because you don't have to worry about backseat drivers. Alright, so let's just take a look here in the back and see what's back here. You have this panel that flips up and down. So if you need some more storage space, you have it like that. If you want to have some under the seat or under, under that thing space, you have that. So you have that storage space and then that divider kind of, um, you know, divides the back from the front. So you have some ability to put, you know, kind of store some stuff and a lot of, a lot of cargo capacity for sure. And speaking of that cargo capacity, let's go back there and check it out. But first, let me show you what the back of the vehicle looks like. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the old CRX. So maybe that's why they call it the CRZ. We have that two-piece glass back here. Alright, so it has a subwoofer, and you have this cargo area, of course this folds down, it's where you can have extra cargo space, of course you can take off the shade, you can take it out completely if you want to, there's the floor mats that go in it, there's a cargo mat back here that's easily removed and, and cleaned and put back in, under here there's no spare tire, this one doesn't have the spare tire. It does have an inflator kit though. And some storage space in there. 
So I'm not sure if the spare tire is sold as an option or not, but um, this one does not have the spare tire. All right, let's take a look at the fuel door. So on the to open the fuel door, you just push this side like that, and it pops open. And then you have the fuel cap there, which is tethered by this plastic strap. Now you don't want to just let it hang down and scratch your shiny paint, so it does have a little place right here to rest the cap. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Take a look at the 130 horsepower, 1.5 liter, four cylinder. All right, let's just under here to the right of the Honda symbol. We have that latch. There it is, integrated motor assist. And I'll put a link to in the description giving a little bit more detail on that um, because it is a pretty involved explanation. But anyways, um, there's the engine. You get to actually see the engine, which is cool. 1.5 liter VTEC engine. Smooth running, awesome gas mileage. All right, so let's take a little bit more look. Look at the inside a little bit more. All right, here we are on the inside. Now this is a really neat vehicle. Wait till you see all the the way the dash is and the uh, the gauges and all that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the door. It has the power window controls, the door lock controls. And you can lock out the power windows if you want to there. And uh, it does have the same storage pockets as the other side. There's the handle there. Microfiber purple cloth here, which is pretty cool. All right, so left, left of the steering column, we have a few buttons. And this is where you can adjust your side mirrors here. And here's your drive modes. You got sport normal and your eco mode and so sport gives you the best performance eco gives you the best um, uh, economy as far as sipping gas and then normal is kind of a somewhere in between your trash control you can turn that off if you want to you can change from kilometer per hour to miles per hour there if you want to all right so let's look at the steering wheel it is a leather wrap steering wheel with the red stitching on the inside really cool looking Right. So here on the right you have the cruise control. Uh, you just have to make sure it's turned on with that button and then you can set it with this button, change through your speeds like here and then cancel it there. On the left side you have your volume button, uh, change through your stations and then your AM, FM, your two different modes of playing music through the sound system. Your Bluetooth controls are here. You can answer calls and hang up on calls there if you want. Okay so right here um, this is pretty cool You have this button. It says S plus I guess it's like sport plus but The electric motor in this vehicle is not just for saving gas, but it also can give you a temporary boost in power that that pushes with The gas motor so when you push that button it just really boosts you uh, gives you a little bit extra boost when you take off That's really cool um, And then these buttons down here cycle through this little menu system right here so I'm just going to show you right now it's showing you that the um, that is using gas it has a little gas nozzle when it's, it's going to the car um, so when you're driving if you start using battery power it will change to that battery there but I can cycle through this screen and get different information average speed uh, elapsed time your range and average fuel economy and there's your uh, different your fuel economy I guess in the last um, certain time period I guess and uh, there's your eco mode and it'll give you kind of like a real-time gauge uh, your economy um, whether it be through your gas or your electric you know how much you're using all right and you can customize the settings your oil life and then it cycles back to that screen as you can see, it's 94 degrees outside, so you have that uh, digital outside compass. 
So while we're up here, let's take a look at the gauges. And what I was talking about before is this is just a really cool gauge system. And look at this speedometer, it kind of floats there in the center as I move the camera around. Really neat looking. So here on the left, all right, you can see with the battery power, you can see whether it's char charging or assisting uh, the electric the electric power is assisting or not. And then you have, you know, different uh, information there. There is on the outside is your uh, RPMs and the inside is your uh, miles per hour. Your fuel gauge is there. And then this is kind of like your real time miles per gallon. So that will be like a bar that's constantly changing as you drive. So if you're conscious about, you know, getting the best gas mileage, you can keep an eye on that. And it does have paddle shifters here on the left and right of the steering wheel. Here's your controls for your headlights. You can put on automatic if you want to. Your fog lights are controlled right here. Your windshield wipers are controlled on that side. Right. So your climate controls right here and you can adjust the temperature using this dial, your fan speed on and off, where you want the air to blow, whether you have air conditioning, recirculate the air, your re rear defroster, which will also turn on your side mirror defrosters and your front defrosters there. So here's your radio and pretty basic but it's kind of spread out so it's easy to, you know, grasp everything you have your CD player there you have your reading in the, at the top there with your digital clock your presets are right here and um, this little thing right here is your volume you can change through your stations you can you know make different selections of like presets here and AM FM satellite radio I mean AM FM CD auxiliary input and um, you can scan repeat all that good stuff change your audio settings there like your bass your treble subwoofer in the back you can just kind of fine-tune it the way you want it your auxiliary inputs right here all right let's look down here is a kind of a closable storage compartment it goes in pretty pretty far under here you have a 12 volt power supply and then you have some more storage deep in there cup holders right in front of that and here's your shifter now this one does have a CBT transmission and it's a very comfortable interesting shape shifter here and so the CBT transmission of course it just changes the gear sort of like a any other transmission it has different gear ratios so let's go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera and the backup camera is loaded on the rear view, uh, is located on the rear view mirror right here and you'll notice it is um, distorted so it has those guidelines to show you the estimated width and also you definitely don't want to get any closer than those dotted lines right there so it's very clear um, I'm not sure if it's picking up in the camera but it's like super crisp and clear uh, to the to my eyes when I'm looking at it so really good safety feature there all right so let's continue down the neutral and then drive and then, of course, you can use the paddle shifters to cycle through the gear ratios if you want to. All right, go ahead and put it in park. Now, this does have the uh, feature where it will turn the engine off, of course, uh, while you're just sitting at a stoplight or whatever, and use your, um, you know, use your battery power if you need to. And there's your parking brake. You do have a cup holder and a little storage pocket back here. Now it has an auto dim rear view mirror, which is auto dimming right now because the light sensor is covered up. But you can turn that feature on and off with this button. You do have some tap lights here and here. You can make it to where the and all the interior lights turn on with this button here. Uh, the center position is when the doors open, the lights will turn on. Or you can turn it completely off to where the interior lights do not turn on either way. There's a microphone here for your Bluetooth system. And the visors have mirrors in them. Up here we have a little storage pocket. Right there, I guess. Um, now, you know, you don't want to put anything that's going to be heat sensitive in there. Maybe a pen and paper or something like that. 
Let's take a look at it. Let's look in the visibility. All right, there you have it. 2015 CRZ EX Hybrid. And from what I understand, is a really fun car to drive. So if you have any questions or if you have any experience with this vehicle, maybe you own one of these and or you test drove one, let us know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, everybody else would appreciate it too, especially if other people were considering buying one of these. And if you are, uh, the guy John here at East Coast Honda will hook you up anywhere in the United States. He'll deliver it to your house. So anyways, thank you for watching and thank you to Honda, East Coast Honda here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to show off this little car and it is nice. Okay, thanks for your time. If you could like my videos, subscribe to my channel, share them with your friends. really helps me out and I'll see you next time.